Good morning, people. Well, today we are out here on the river, um, as you can tell, and I'm actually trying out a new lens. I got a new uh, 10 to 18 millimeter lens, and so that's why it looks a lot wider now. Uh, I'm kind of happy I finally got this thing. But we're going to get this kayak unloaded right here, and then we're going to head upriver. Um, well, actually all the way to the end of the river, really. And see if the fish aren't going to be up shallow today. The wind is supposed to be kicking, and it's going to rain this afternoon. So we're going to have about five to six hours of fishing, and then the rain and the wind and the thunderstorms start picking up. So I've got about two or three videos i got to film today and hopefully we can catch some fish in this first one so stay tuned let's get this thing on the water load it up and head out and fish all right guys well we're out on the water now and my back camera died it wouldn't work um probably because i didn't charge the battery but we're going to film off of this camera for a while uh if i catch anything i'll post it up um but we're not going to have a back view so Sorry about that, it's my bad. We're gonna start fishing now. All right, guys. Well, we got the first fish of the day in the boat. He's not a, a super giant, but he'll do. He's super dark from in his water. He wasn't coming off either. First fish of the morning. Probably about a pound and a half, maybe. We're going to get them measured and uh, upload it to this leaderboard. Uh, hopefully, we can find some more bigger ones. This one's uh, 14 and a half. 14 and a half. So, let's get a picture. Nice little one. I don't know quite where they are because that one wasn't on really where I was expecting it to be. He was more or less on the outsides of the trees. But when the water is real high like this, they like to push back into these trees. So we'll we'll see what we can get on, but let's keep fishing. Well, I'm fish number two of the day. Let's hope we can catch fish today. So, we're going to get him on the measuring board and see how much he, he can help us out. Fourteen and a half inches. That'll definitely do. Let's go catch some more. All right, guys. I've been fighting the wind like crazy, but we got a fourth fish right here. A pretty decent sized one actually. Um, yeah, we'll just leave that right there. He's a pretty decent sized little fat chunk, so we're gonna take a picture of him and then get him back in the water. Oh, 16 and a quarter. Man, that's a pretty decent sized one that I needed. Ooh. 
Need a few more like that, and we'll be set. Let it go. All right. Yeah. So basically, what I'm doing is, if I can get this thing out. Yeah, let's see. I got this thing all sorts of tangled up now. Basically, I'm just throwing a Texas rig as close to brush and cypress trees as possible. Uh, the water is up, and so these fish are going to be pushed back just a little bit off of uh, the main portion of the water. He tore that thing up pretty good. But, uh, yeah, so they're pretty much hitting it right where I'm expecting them to. And so we just got to find out where these fish are setting up now um, because of this wind. The wind is making it a little tough to stay in position and, you know, fish slow enough to where the fish can, you know, come to it. But uh, the water's pretty warm anyway, so don't really need to slow down too too much I don't know we'll see we'll find some bigger ones hopefully hey guys so look been fishing for a while without a, a bite and then this big sucker comes along and decides to chomp my bait the old Guggenbaits bandito bug uh, probably about 18 inches maybe oh man that thing fell right out too had me hung up on a log for a minute and uh thought i was snagged i felt him bite but we're gonna get him on the measuring board down here and see how much she is Just at 18. That's a good healthy fish right there. So, let's put her back. fish all right guys well I'm sorry once again for not charging the back camera so you could see everything but I put um, most of the nice fish on video I caught a couple little ones I really didn't care to put on there um, set up the camera because I would take it down and then whenever I caught a fish I would set it back up in front of me that way it wasn't in the way but um if you notice this video is coming out and there's no national championship uh footage it's because i accidentally deleted it um i had a couple practice days in there i, I didn't bring my cameras um to the actual like tournament itself uh, just because I didn't want to hassle with it. I wanted to try and catch fish and sorry. Yeah, sorry about that. But yeah, it got all deleted on accident when I was trying to format cards and stuff like that. I completely forgot that it was still on there and I didn't put it on my hard drive. So just to give you a recap, in case you don't follow myself or uh, Rob or the Fin Freaks page, I finished 135th out of 461 I think it is um, kayak anglers so all in all it wasn't a bad tournament for me the first day I kind of struggled I only caught three fish or uh, yeah three fish at the very end of the day and that kind of hindered me from getting into the top 100 if I would have had two more fish I would have been in the top 100 
But the second day, I had a phenomenal second day. I caught a 20 incher, a 19 and three quarter, and that just kind of, those were like the first couple of fish of the day. And then after that, I was just catching them constantly. Um, but it wasn't enough to get to the third day and unfortunately not make the top 100. So I just finished up this video. I'm about to go do two more this afternoon. Um, more of tackle management and some other things. But stay tuned for those videos. We'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Please hit that subscribe button. We're almost to a thousand. I think we're like 313 away. We're almost there. And we're almost at a hundred thousand views for the channel. So let's get up there. I appreciate the support and we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.